This training video is on the new batch file conversion functionality found in Song Surgeon version 4. It can be found right here on the user interface. And before we discuss how it works, let's just talk a little bit about what it is and what it isn't. Batch file conversion refers, in this version of Song Surgeon, it refers to the ability to take a set of files, a set of music files, and convert them from whatever format they're in. For example, meaning a, a WAV file or an MP3 or an M4A or AAC or any of the other common file formats. So we can take a group of files and convert them from the format that they're in to some other file format. So, for example, if you have a whole bunch of .wav files, which are lossless files that are high quality files, and you want to convert them to something that's much smaller, that gives you high quality, but would allow you then to reduce the file sizes significantly so you could put them on, on an MP3 player or an iPod or something like that, then this feature is something you'd probably be interested in because that's exactly what it does. So that's what it does. What it doesn't do is that it is not a feature or a function that will apply key, meaning pitch, or tempo changes to the file. So you can't load a bunch of files and then have it change all these files by a half a step. That's not what it is. That's possibly something we could do in future versions of Song Surgeon and actually it sounds like quite a useful idea for some folks. So we'll certainly look at that in the future, but right now it doesn't do that. We're simply, uh, we simply have built in a functionality that converts between different file formats. So with that as a background, let's go ahead and take a look quickly at how this works. And it's pretty straightforward. If we click the button, it opens up a um, typical Windows looking dialog. And this top window here is uh, where we will see the audios, audio files that we select. So let's go ahead and choose files. Just going to start choosing some of these here, sort of at random if you will. So selected a bunch of them. Here they are. You can see them in the window. I don't know exactly how many I have. It looks like maybe 10, 12, 15. I can choose the file format for the output. Uh, they are MP3 right now, so let's change them to AAC, just for example. When I do that, since AACs give you the flexibility of setting a bit rate, it would allow me to select a bit rate. I'm going to use the default bit rate here. And then lastly, it will allow me to select a <coughs> folder or a location where I want to store these files once, um, once they've been converted. And I've created a folder here called test BFC for test batch file conversion. So we're going to select that. So that is the output destination. And then we're simply going to click the convert button. And as we do that, you'll see that it starts the conversion process one at a time and as it completes it, it moves to the next one and leaves the first one highlighted that it is completed. So that's really all there is to it. It will convert one file, five files, 50 files, 500 or 5,000 even. Obviously this is a somewhat time consuming process depending upon the file types that you're converting to, but it will do the job for you and it will convert them in batches of whatever size you're interested in doing. So that will conclude this video on the batch file conversion process.